Hello and welcome to Race 2 and this is just going to be some highlights from uh, UK CD's official Race 2 at Road America and as you can see on screen we actually went for the GT3 class uh, an all round brilliant sports car that's not too overpowered uh, that it runs away with you too much but enough in there for a lot of driver skill and uh, brilliant on the track and especially on Road America So it was quite a clean start, there was a little bit of an impact at the back of the grid on the start line which you won't see, unfortunately I didn't save my replay so we're actually looking from the winners, it's quite a clean start actually as we come down this this first corner, we did say um, pre-race, pre really take it easy on this first corner and as you can see the rough in front, cut it a little bit, went on to the chevrons, probably as adrenaline was running. Uh, the excitement of these first four or five laps is absolutely brilliant as the cars are just so toe to toe shuffling around trying to get positions making sure we don't hit each other I actually really enjoy this beginning part of all the races that we actually do this horseshoe right really is about feathering the accelerator a little bit too much and you drift over and you really want to get try and hit those chevrons on the left as fast as you can down onto this right hand bender which I take at full speed just coming off slightly and as you can see Matthias has come off here and this is going to highlight a good point uh, for UK CD members this is some real good driving and sportsmanship here he came off the track and he's actually going to wait here on the side until it's clear and pull back on as you can see there's another one in his rearview mirror and come back on these are the kind of drivers that make it into the UK CD club we actually have a rookie basis now another driver gone straight off the track there um, and that what that's what makes us stand out clean driving proper race rules and you'll find that you get so much more enjoyment out of the actual race and the fact he came off he's got a little bit of catching up to do <coughs> but as you already know the race results you can know that he actually brings it back now we've actually set this on 22 laps uh, 22 laps is quite a lot it actually took us about 55 minutes to do this race and what was a brilliant afterwards we all discussed was the fact that the race order changed completely about three times during the race due to pittings, people spinning off and it was just absolutely fantastic that putting the, the laps up really does change it people were coming in for fuel they had their own race strategies and so forth and so forth actually makes it a really really brilliant race So here we are on board Matthias's BMW Z4, straight down to the bottom, a really sharp left hander here, a lot of people run over onto the chevrons and over onto the gravel lane, make mistake, hoofing it all the way up here again before you drop it down, really tight corner before you start to put the power on, as you can see one of the McLarens has actually come off on the side there, a little bit too, acceler too much accelerator and it will spin you. Straight down to the bottom here, sharp left and we're back into the dog turn. As you can see, he's starting to catch up a little bit here. This could be Artie in the Z4 in front. Uh, my apologies if it's not. And unfortunately for him, he had connection issues uh, and had to drop out even though he uh, was the race leader for about five laps. So as we're flooring it down this right-hander, you've really got to get your braking in nice and early. And one of the things is you can um, start to see your in the rear view mirror the other cars as you can see that Z4 there very close impact he actually braked way too late by the looks of it got one of his wheels onto the chevrons and accelerated which actually spun him out um, so there really is you, you never know in these races the positions are just going to change constantly and uh, as he starts to come on the long straight you can see the fog is starting to drop slightly and uh, he's got a bit of a drive ahead of him because that's actually me in front of him now in the McLaren there's quite a large different range of vehicles that we've got in this race. We've got the Z4, the Aston Martin, the Ruff, the McLaren and the Ginetta. And it all comes down to driver preference. They all do drive completely differently. Um, personally I preferred the McLaren. Uh, it's, uh, sorry, I'm actually in the orange car in front of this one, in front of the Ruff. Uh, although I do like the look of the Ruff, I had to admit in the green one. Uh, absolutely beautiful, stunning looking car and uh, as we're about to see now the grid starts to get really quite closely packed and we get into some really tight racing for about four or five laps mm -hmm. 
So this is the point, this is probably about lap 7 of 22 where we really do start to get into some nice racing now between the four of us. You've got the Z4 out in front, you've got the McLaren P1, you've got the uh, Porsche, Ruff and Matthias in his Z4. And at this stage in the race the pit crews were constantly telling us we were expecting rain within the next 30 minutes. So I know myself in the McLaren, I'm in two cars ahead here, I was thinking this is a really great race, what are we going to do if it's going to be wet? This is really going to mix it up because depending on your fuel setting is how long you're going to be in the pits. So this really was a brilliant part of the race for me. I really did enjoy racing with these three guys. And uh, this is what Project Cars is all about. That adrenaline rush of knowing that if you fuck up one corner, these guys are just going to fly past you at any point. As you can see Matthias looking at my ass here in the McLaren F1. Interesting to note different braking zones here, and different um, different racing lines as well. I noticed on that particular section I braked way later, and uh, I seem to pull away from him at certain parts like here. Uh, but as we get further into the horseshoe section, he pulls it back. So whether that's down to the driver skill or whether that's down to the actual vehicle, some vehicles are better at certain aspects. I know the McLaren I was driving wasn't the best at cornering but it seemed to feel really great out in the open on the straights. I know at this part in the race uh, I was not only eyes glued on the race ahead but every two or three seconds I was constantly checking my uh, rear view mirror to see where Matthias was. I could see he was getting closer at certain parts and as you can see pressure got to me a little bit, I'm starting to go a little bit wide, trying to push it a little bit too hard, just trying to get away from him, give myself a little bit of breathing room, while at the same time keeping an eye on that Z4 in front of me and notice that the roof was starting to pull away a little bit ahead in front as well. So I decided, you know, just forget Mattis is there, just keep racing and um, try and push on ahead. started to make a few little mistakes there whether that was tires whether I'm feeling pressure again I'm not quite sure as you can see I actually pulled over here which is a sportsman thing like to do because I realized he was catching me up um, but as I came over he just didn't have the power to come blasting straight past me and I decided to keep my line there was nowhere else for me to go which um, actually was a defensive move it actually meant that Matthias couldn't overtake me at that time so I hope uh, that was a clean thing to do, it seemed the right thing to do at the time and as you'll see in a second as we get to another section I um, I actually indicate to him to overtake me um, he seemed to be getting closer and closer and I actually flashed my lights a few times as if to say look if you want to go past get your foot down uh, and get past me cleanly and um, yeah and I really did enjoy this part of the race um, it's all very well being out in front or in the middle of the pack or even at the back to be honest but if there's no cars you know 30 seconds in front of you or 30 seconds behind you you just don't get that as much enjoyment as you do when it's as, as tight clean racing as this is so somehow the roof uh, the roof has started to pull ahead for some reason, I don't know why, because we are both absolutely turning it round here, so um, hats off to whoever that is in the roof, while me and Matthias battle it out, looks like the Z4 behind us actually took a spin, uh, and he started to drop back a little bit, so it really is a battle between me and Matthias at this stage, as we come flooring down here, I know I've got a slight advantage on the straight here, hopefully I can get a bit more speed. As you can see he's drafting me here, trying to get as much speed, and there you can go, I'm flashing my lights to say if you can get past while well, you've drafted me, uh, then go past. Um, he doesn't have the power, so I actually come back to my racing line. And uh, so the race continues, cat and mouse, cat and mouse, as you can see the rough has made a big mistake there, as I almost did, <laughs> coming straight onto the chevrons. Matthias is not having it, he's there on my tail constantly badgering me as we come around here and uh, now it's just a matter of me trying to forget as I'm out in front at this point that he's even there. 
So as we come down to this long straight, just see the breaking points for me is really quite late. Right down at the end, and Matthias actually seems to follow me at that point. Both running over onto the chevrons. It's probably because we're both absolutely pushing these cars to limits around some of these corners, desperately trying to get away. And as you can see, I fucked up. I tried to push it too hard in front, desperately trying to get away from him. And uh, Matthias, cool as a cucumber, as a German cucumber, straight through and takes the lead. Good to you. Overall, it was an absolutely brilliant race, and uh, I can't thank the lads enough who decided to take part in this. I think it was 12 of us at one point. Uh, if you're interested in racing with the uh, UK CD racers, clean drivers, then you'll see the website address below at the bottom. We try to organise races at least once a week, the official races such as this, which is locked to the internal view, manual gears, uh, only real assists, uh, long laps, pit stops, fuel, uh, as, as, as simish and as realistic as we can make it but we're also going to be we've got a lot more members now who join in who are let's just say not as experienced they don't have wheels and they play with a gamepad so we're going to be creating races for them as well so if you're interested in joining us pop along say hello have a few races if it's not for you then fair dues at least you give it a try at least you know you're going to get some clean races and we're also on team speak as well so we can communicate with each other jump in i think you'll really enjoy it it's a completely different experience in the meantime, thanks for watching. This has been another official race for the UK CD guys at Road America. 22 laps. Absolutely awesome. And congratulations to Matthias for his second win. Big headed bastard. And we'll see you in the next race. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.